Welcome to the Network of Networks use case. If you have not already done so, please review our introduction to wide area networks prior to watching this video. It will provide you with an insight as to how a virtual wide area network operates as context for this presentation. Virtualization is touching almost every facet of the IT infrastructure. Local area networks, servers, storage, the managed cloud platform, and the desktop. Virtual wide area networking is the component that virtualizes multiple wide area networks, whether wired or wireless, allowing them to be used as if all of this virtualized architecture were connected via a single network. We believe that virtual wide area networks present an opportunity for carriers to benefit from the explosion in virtualized architecture by creating a seamless cross-network experience for their customers using 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, DSL, cable, satellite and even competitors' networks. We call this opportunity the network of networks. By every metric, wireless data usage is growing rapidly. In December 2009, Ericsson announced an historic crossover point where data exceeded voice for the first time. Their recent measurements of wireless network traffic showed that global mobile data has nearly tripled in the last year, growing more than 10 times faster than voice. Additionally, Cisco forecasts 6.3 exabytes per month of mobile data traffic by 2014, up from 225,000 terabytes per month as of the second quarter of 2010. In the USA, the Federal Communications Commission is set to double spectrum available for wireless broadband services over the next 10 years. But given the forecast of exponential growth in data traffic, is this too little or too late to meet the demand? Wireless carriers worldwide are scrambling to find ways to address the opportunity and mitigate the risks of managing the forecast increase in mobile data. One such strategy involves the intelligent use of multiple networks such as 4G and Wi-Fi to offload the 3G data traffic to avoid congestion and reduce the cost per bit of the data being sent. We will now introduce you to use cases that describe how the network of networks provides a compelling solution to this problem for wireless carriers and service providers. The first network of networks scenario we will consider is that of a traditional wireless carrier with a third generation network. Carrier A finds itself, like many of its competitors, seeking new network strategies to manage forecast demand for wireless data services from its existing customer base. Carrier A's 3G network is currently experiencing ever-increasing data congestion. It is attempting to influence customers to move traffic off its 3G network and onto Wi-Fi whenever possible. Although it has an investment in a Wi-Fi network operator, an insignificant percentage of the access points available to their customers are addressed. Most of the Wi-Fi access points are owned by third parties and Carrier A cannot verify their security or performance. Carrier A installs Apollo client software on the remote device used by its customers and Apollo server software in its core network. This creates a virtual wide area network between them allowing the remote device to behave as if it's always on the carrier's network even when it is roaming on third-party Wi-Fi networks. Carrier A is able to manage the IP address of the remote device, move traffic to Wi-Fi networks wherever they are available, shape, prioritize and secure the customer's traffic on both networks, ensuring the best quality of experience. Handoff between the two network types is seamless and customers can bond both networks together if they need increased bandwidth with lower latency. The Apollo server collects and stores network connection information such as base station identifiers, signal strength, latency, bandwidth, packet loss, jitter and throughput data on every network used by the remote devices. Carrier A benefits from the customer usage information collected by the Apollo server using it to assist the delivery of value-added services 
and predict future network build-out. The 4G radio and backhaul network rollout is in progress, but full coverage will take several years to build. In the interim, Carrier A is able to extend the virtual wide area network service to allow traffic to be moved from the 3G network and onto 4G wherever possible, and to use Wi-Fi if the 4G network is not available. Carrier A wants to market its 4G services to Carrier B's 3G customer base who are also experiencing data congestion on its 3G network. Carrier A realizes that its target customers are unlikely to immediately switch from Carrier B's 3G service because of existing commercial agreements but does not want this to be an impediment to 4G sales. Carrier A realizes that its target customers are unlikely to immediately switch from Carrier B's 3G service because of existing commercial agreements, but does not want this to be an impediment to 4G sales. Once Carrier A has provisioned a seamless 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi service to its competitors' customers, it offers its own 3G service as a replacement for Carrier B's 3G service by using more attractive bundled pricing. The Apollo server once again collects and stores network connection information. By understanding where customers leave its network and to which competitive network they seamlessly roam, Carrier A is able to accurately predict the future needs of its own network as well as building a picture of the other networks used by its subscribers. The second network of networks scenario we will consider addresses how Carrier A protects and extends its services to an existing customer base of public safety users. Carrier A has been selling 3G data services to police, fire, EMS and other public safety entities for many years. It is planning to sell its 4G data services into the same market and has deployed Apollo to provide 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi mobility. Public safety customers are now being instructed to prepare for migration to a new 700 MHz broadband system. Carrier A wants to protect their current and projected revenue from public safety customers and believes there is a significant opportunity to enhance and extend public safety broadband services using their 3G and 4G networks. Carrier A builds a virtual wide area network for public safety users that allows them to use its 3G and 4G networks as a seamless extension to their dedicated 700 MHz network. This strategy significantly mitigates the risk of migrating to the new 700 MHz network by providing fallback to commercial networks as the 700 MHz network is rolled out. The virtual wide area network allows remote devices to behave as if they are always on the agency's network as it roams between 700 MHz public safety, 3G and 4G networks. By placing the Apollo server on the agency's network, Carrier A ensures that traffic remains encrypted from end to end. Apollo applies a type of service flag on all public safety agency encrypted traffic that ensures Carrier A prioritizes this traffic when it traverses their 3G and 4G networks. The Public Safety Agency manages the IP address of the remote devices, prioritizes 700, 4G and 3G networks, shapes, prioritizes and secures the traffic on all networks, ensuring the best quality of experience. Handoff between all network types is seamless and agencies can bond any combination of the networks together if they need increased bandwidth with lower latency to handle emergency situations. The third network of network scenario we will consider is that of a service provider with no wireless or wireline networks. This service provider wants to connect its service platform to control millions of remote sensors connected to hundreds of different networks all around the world to create a smart network that monitors and improves the performance of existing and emerging infrastructures. The service provider realizes that building one network to achieve this is not practical or financially viable, so is seeking a way to build its platform to be agnostic to device, 
network operator, network type, and geography. The service provider embeds Apollo client software in the remote devices and Apollo server software on their service platform, which allows the remote devices to behave as if they are always on the same IP subnet as the service platform, regardless of what network or combination of networks they are using to connect them both. The service provider is able to manage the IP address of the remote device, prioritize the networks over which the traffic is carried, shape, prioritize and secure the device's traffic on all networks, ensuring the best quality of experience. Handoff between the network types is seamless and devices can bond any combination of networks together if they need increased bandwidth with lower latency. In summary, virtualization of the wide area network allows remote devices to behave as part of a LAN subnet, tunnels traffic through an intermediate networks of all types, shapes and prioritizes traffic across all networks, allows bonding of different networks for greater bandwidth, true seamless mobility between networks, it secures traffic across insecure networks and delivers quality of service and quality of experience without provider provision services. We call the result of this wide area network virtualization the network of networks.